Breaking news just coming out. We're hearing that the low-income individuals in the United States will be impacted as a result of the negotiations being discussed right now in the White House regarding the debt ceiling crisis. Take a look at this article. Literally just came out 10 minutes ago. This is live information just coming out. Biden-McCarthy debt ceiling meeting starts as Australia trip is in limbo, and they're saying that President Biden is starting to cave on his stance. He's willing to have some spending cuts come up, and they're saying it's going to be impacting the low income. Now, there's not a whole lot of information that has come out yet. Like I said, this is just released literally 10 minutes ago. So I'm going to give you the information that we currently have. And as more develops, I'm going to be sure to share here on the channel so you know exactly what's taking place. Now, before we dive in, though, do me a quick favor. If you appreciate the breaking news updates, keeping you up to speed on Congress, the economy, stimulus, Social Security, everything available for you and your family and what to prepare for, do me a quick favor. Smash the like button. Just takes a second. Subscribe to stay up to date. It's totally free. And if you want to join the members group, all you got to do is hit the join button. You'll be able to get exclusive access to me. I'll help you out with any questions you have. And you can help me out with topics that you know that the community will want to hear more about. But with that being said, you guys, let's dive into these articles, get you caught up on the latest. All right. So link in the description below to this article. As you know, I put it on the screen, read right from it. I cite all my sources so you can see it's the latest. And it says Democratic President Joe Biden and top congressional Republican leader, Kevin McCarthy. They held a new round of talks about the U.S. debt ceiling on Tuesday today, and sources said work requirements for benefit programs for the low-income Americans of the nation are on the table. So they're no longer just going to be giving out these benefits. They're going to require that you work to receive the benefits. Now, uh, let's see what other details are provided. President Biden sat down in the Oval Office with House of Representatives Speaker Kevin McCarthy, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, House Democratic Leader Hakeem Jeffries, and Senate Republican Leader Mitch McConnell. We're just getting started, Biden told reporters just after 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, before ushering them out of the door so the meeting could begin. Now, Biden is trying to reach a debt ceiling deal by June 1st to lift the threat of economic calamity. And this would be a massive default. We're hearing the X state of when this could happen is going to be June 1st. And this will cause a recession, if not a depression, and just a dominoes effect of economic calamity. Now, the White House announced Biden may be forced to skip a stop in Australia during an Asia trip due to the debt limit drama. Now, ahead of the Oval Office meeting, Biden and McCarthy's aides, they have discussed the requirements for the two key programs that provide food and cash aid to families. In the past weeks, negotiations over raising the government's $31.4 trillion debt ceiling to avoid an economically catastrophic default. Now, expanding the work requirements has been a key demand of Republicans who are also pushing for spending cuts in exchange for their votes to raise the debt ceiling. Biden and McCarthy have little time to strike a deal. On Monday, the Treasury Department reiterated its warning that it could run short on money to pay its bills, all of its bills, as soon as June 1st, triggering a default that economists say would likely spark a sharp economic downturn. Now, McCarthy on Tuesday today told reporters that his party, which controls the chamber by a 222 to 213 margin would only agree to a deal that cuts spending. We can raise the debt ceiling if we limit what we're going to spend in the future, McCarthy told reporters. Both parties agree on the need for urgent action. Now, in the past week, staffs for both sides have discussed a range of issues, including spending caps, new work requirements for some benefit programs for the low-income Americans, and changes to energy permitting in exchange for votes to lift the limit, according to people that were briefed on talks. Now, the sources who spoke on conditions of anonymity to reveal details about closed door negotiations said that the work requirement discussions focus on supplemental nutritional assistance programs or SNAP, previously known as food stamps, and the temporary assistance for needy families program or TAMP. Biden alluded to the talks in public remarks over the weekend, saying that he would not consider such a move for the Medicaid health program for low-income Americans. The president has been clear that he will not accept proposals that take away people's health coverage. The White House spokesperson said, now, the president has also been clear that he will not accept policies that push Americans into poverty. He will evaluate whatever proposals Republicans bring to the table based on those principles. Now, a similar 2011 standoff over the debt limit led to a historic downgrade of the U.S. credit rating, sparking a sell-off in stocks and pushing the government's borrowing costs higher. Now, the current deadlock has rattled investors, sending the cost of insuring exposure to U.S. government debt to record highs. 
rise. A Reuters poll completed on Monday found that three-fourths of Americans fear a default would take a heavy toll on families like theirs. Nobody should use the default as hostage, said Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer in a Senate speech on Tuesday. The consequences would be devastating for America. Some observers have raised concerns that the five-party talks are too unwieldy to make progress. Number two, Senate Republican John Thune told reporters the talks appear to have too many cooks. As we've said all along, it is Biden and McCarthy, Thune said. So whoever can actually speak on behalf of the president needs to get in the room and get McCarthy's best people in there and just get it done. McCarthy himself said that he would prefer one-on-one talks directly with Biden. If the president comes to an agreement, The Democrats in the Senate will vote for it. The House will pass it if we all are in agreement, McCarthy said. Why do we waste more time going around and around not solving any of these real problems? I think you're putting the country in jeopardy when you do that, he said. So he's saying he just wants to speak directly to President Joe Biden. And they're saying there's too many people involved in the mix of this. And they're saying it's causing delays. And we are getting closer and closer, about two weeks away from a potentially massive, devastating U.S. default. So like I said, this is breaking news that just came out. We're hearing that low-income individuals that are on SNAP or TAMF, they will likely get hit with some sort of uh, changes to their benefits. There's going to be work requirements. We'll see what other programs they're going to suggest to try to cut back on spending. And we will see this is huge. We are incredibly close to a U.S. default, as I mentioned to you before. Now, I have done polls here on the channel. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Is President Biden going to be giving and he's going to add spending cuts? It looks like that's the direction we're going going? Or is Kevin McCarthy going to be willing to bend and just increase the debt ceiling without doing the spending cuts? I don't think that that's the direction we're going. Also, if by chance they are unable to come to an agreement, we could potentially be looking at a default. And lastly, we've also heard that if that is the case, President Joe Biden might invoke the 14th Amendment to try to step in, bypass Congress, and increase the debt ceiling himself. Now, to get more information on that, because a lot of people are saying that that's a sticky kind of gray area. It might not be legal, but they still might try it, and it still might not do the trick. Check out this video right here as I cover all the details on the latest information about the president potentially using this last-minute this last minute move to try to save our nation from a default. But you guys, I will keep you up to date. Like I said, this just came out and as more rolls out, I'll let you know here on the channel how this could impact all of us. But with that being said, thank you so much for joining me. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. God bless. This is Steve.